video, we're going to walk through working with migrations and expression engine, particularly migrating and rolling back. So uh, what are migrations? Migrations are a simple way to version control and track database changes and be able to uh, run them and then revert them at the, uh, very easily as well. So with that being said, here I am, I have my command prompt open. I am in the root directory of my expression engine install. So I'm going to change directories to system EE. This is the location of our uh, command line interface for expression engine. So if we run the list command, you'll notice there's a listing of commands. We're going to focus on migrate. Uh, in this case, I have several migrations already prepared. If you haven't seen the video on creating migrations, I would recommend going and watching that as a whole. So uh, it's important to note right off the bat, there's two different types of migrations in expression engine. There is core migrations and add on migrations. So uh, I have some of both set up here. Uh, in Sublime Text Editor, you'll notice that we have one from an earlier video called Super Duper, and I also have uh, three core migrations here as well. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run the add-on migration first. So what we'll do is we'll run the migrate add-on command, and we can put in an add-on name here or all, uh, and just hit enter, and it'll run. So what you'll notice here is that this migration ran. So as I mentioned, this is the up command, if you will, uh, or when we what we just ran. And it actually migrates this table in this case, it's create table migration. Uh, and it runs it if when we roll back, it's going to run the down command and ultimately it's going to drop our table. So uh, I want to go over and show you the database real quick here in our migrations table if I refresh. I want to just call it particularly this migration group is migration group one. So uh, this should have created our table. Let me refresh my table listing. I'm sure I'm going to forget that at some point. Should have created the super duper table, which it did. And that is defined in here, super duper. All right, so let's go here and let's go ahead and run the core migrations now. So we'll go ahead and run core. And you'll notice that the three migrations ran. So we'll go back to our table. And what we'll do is migrate. And what you'll notice is that we have a group two and it's got three migrations. So this should have created a, I need to refresh my list there, series of test tables, test one, test two, and test three. Um, so why I want to call out the migration table specifically and the groups is this is important when you are uh, rolling back. So if I go here and I do a rollback, it's actually gonna roll back just the last group of migration. So group two in this case will be rolled back. So go ahead and roll it back. You'll notice that those three uh, got rolled back. So when a migration rolls back, uh, what you'll notice is it gets removed from this table. Um, actually, let's go back here. The test table, if I refresh this again, those three test tables will be gone. So what's actually happening is we just executed this drop table test one uh, for each of these migrations. It's actually the down command that gets executed when you roll back. All right, so let's go ahead and migrate. I'll do a migrate all this time, which would be any add-ons that have new migrations as well as core migrations. So if I do migrate all, in this case, we only have three core migrations. They went ahead and they got run. So um, you'll notice again, if I come back to the database um, and we refresh that those migrations are here and similarly, the test tables are pre back present. So one other thing I wanna call out with migrations is if we do a rollback, and we do a dash dash help, as you can do with uh, all the commands in the command line interface, you'll notice that there's also the steps option. So steps is a little bit different than groups. So what I can do is I can do a rollback dash dash steps. And what I can say is like steps two, and this is actually just gonna roll back that many migrations. So in this case, it's gonna be test three and test two are gonna get rolled back. So you'll notice test three and test two, uh, our tables are here if I refresh this it dropped those two and if I refresh this, all we have is the test one table. So that's a quick, uh, this is a quick video overview of working with migrations and rollbacks and expression engine.